Hi there, welcome back for another day of our Lenten devotion time together. We're so glad that you are here um, and taking part in this awesome opportunity. Uh, today, I wanna to talk about a little bit uh, behind the idea of how to do discipleship. Um, I was fortunate enough to get to go to California in January and escape kind of the gray and enjoy time in the 75 degree sunshine um, for a training. And uh, part of it was the focus on parenting and uh, there was an element of confident parenting. And uh, Dr. Jim Burns was the guy who led this training. And one of the ideas that he talked about for parenting was um, these four phases of ease. And uh, it was interesting when I was thinking about it, it really seemed to apply more than just to parenting. It seemed to be a really good fit for discipleship as well. So I'm gonna start uh, by reading passage out of 1 Corinthians chapter four, verses 14 through 17. And then I'll talk a little bit more about those four phases. Paul writes, I am writing this not to shame you, but to warn you as my dear children, even if you had 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. For this reason, I have sent to you Timothy, my son whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. I remember when I first read this, um, when I was in college, because that was when I really started reading the Bible, I remember thinking, dang, that Paul was kind of arrogant, you know, with the, you know, audacity in my opinion at the time to say, oh, well, imitate me because I'm imitating Jesus. But now I've really come to understand that as people, we oftentimes learn a lot better from those who are right beside us. And especially when we are choosing to follow someone who is genuinely following Christ, that's healthy and that's appropriate. And that kind of brings us back to those four phases of ease. So Jim Burns talks about this obviously more with parenting. Uh, and so the first phase is I do it and you watch. And so when we think about that in discipleship, that's a fit as well. Uh, when you invite someone else into a ministry with you, or you see someone who you think would be a good fit for a ministry that you're involved in, even saying, hey, why don't you come and do this um, with me? Just watch, you don't have to do anything, and then we'll see where it goes from there. The second phase is I do it and you do it. And so it's this opportunity to do it together and to serve side by side, and which is kind of you know taking that next step outside the comfort zone. Then the third phase, it's you do it, so they do it, and I assist. And this is the one where if you are more of a control freak, like I am, that one's tougher because you have to let them genuinely do it themselves and figure out the right way for them to do it, which may not always be the right way that you think it should be done. Uh, Tim and I, my husband and I have seen this recently, and inviting our two older daughters to take over the dishes. And uh, Tim, especially is one of those who thinks that there's a right way to load the dishwasher. And so when it's their turn, he's like, okay, uh, I just have to leave the kitchen, tell me when they're done. Um, but you know, it's about making it work. And the reason we do it that way, that we have to let go, is so that when they get to that fourth phase of you do it, where they get to just do it, where they're finally empowered and equipped, they're going to succeed because they've already done it with a net and now they get to go out and do it on their own. So whereas my college self thought Paul was being pretty arrogant here, I think it's actually really great advice. It makes a lot of sense for us. And if we look at people and we recognize gifts in people, this is a great way for us to empower and equip them so that they're able to be successful in ministry as well. So that's my encouragement for you today. As you go out um, about your day today and through your week, be on the lookout for people that you could invite to do things with you and to eventually you know, be able to push them out of their comfort zone and fulfill their calling and what God is calling them to as well. Would you pray with me? Holy God, I thank you for the gift of community, for the ability that we have to learn from one another 
as we learn from you. I thank you for the work that you're doing here at RLC and pray for everybody watching this right now, that you would help them to feel empowered, empowered and equipped today as they go out to serve, honor, and love you and love their neighbors. It's through your son's precious and holy name that we pray. Amen. Have a great day.